Welcome to Gray on Mac. We are asked to solve this problem. We have three squares that uh, above these three squares is a circle uh, and one of the side of the square which is the 49 square unit square is actually tangent to the circle and the other two squares uh, vert vertex so for the green uh, square the 81 square unit square intersects uh, the circle at a point uh, and the other uh, square the lavender square intersects the circle at one point and uh, we are required to find the area of the blue circle okay so first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to focus on the length of the square so we are given three squares with 81 uh, unit square units for the green so uh, if it is 81 then if we take the square root of 81 then and that would be 9 so this side this segment will be uh, 9 and for the yellow this will be square root of 49 this will be 7 and for the lavender we have square root of 64 and that will be uh this will be 8 okay so if uh this is 7 and 9 so 9 minus 7 is 2 this is 2 and if we project that this is also 2 And for the uh, green, I mean the lavender and the yellow, we have here 8 and 7. So 8 minus 7, this becomes, since this is 7, this is 8 minus 7, this is 1. This is 1. Okay, so next is we focus on the horizontal line. So, for the horizontal length of the yellow, I mean it is 7. So, uh, this side, this portion, uh, this portion should be, if we let that as x, then this should be uh, 7 minus x. Okay, uh, and we note that also uh, these lines are actually perpendicular to the square and this should be perpendicular to and this is perpendicular to and next is we draw the radius and the radius from the center to the vertex of the green so this is r and this is r and for the left uh, this uh, segment is Actually, the radius minus 2. So, this is 2. So, this will be R minus 2. And for the uh, left, I mean the right triangle, the right triangle at the right. So, since this is 1, then this will be R minus 1. Okay, so we actually uh, form two right triangles. We form two, two right triangles. And these two tri right triangles have already I boxed the uh, si representation for the sides. So for this on the left, the hypotenuse is R. So we have R square is equal to one leg is R minus two. Uh, R minus two square. And the other is plus 7 minus x square. So that is the first equation. For the second one, we have r square is equal to uh, r minus 1 square plus the other leg for the, on the right, yes, I mean on the right, it will be uh, x square. Okay. So next is we just need to solve the value of R. So since we are uh, after the area of the circle, so we need to find the value of R. So 
we need to solve r from this uh, system of uh, equations so uh, we can actually subtract this uh, equation the second equation from the first so this would be r square minus r square so let's put minus there so we have that will be zero and for this we have r minus 2 uh, square minus r minus 1 square and we need to add the next so we have 7 minus x square minus x square okay so next is we use difference of two squares so for uh, the first pair so we have zero is equal to uh, the, uh, first we recall uh, difference of two squares so we have a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times a plus b okay so we have here uh, r minus 2 times i mean let's say minus r minus 1 then we need to multiply this with r minus 2 plus r minus 1 then for the second pair we have 7 minus x then minus x and the other is 7 minus x plus x okay so next is we simplify further so we have uh, r minus 0 is equal to r minus 2 then minus r plus 1 so and we have here 2r minus 3 plus 7x minus x this will be 7 minus 2x then this or is beca this becomes 7 only and okay so next is we simplify further so we have here this cancels out r minus r and this becomes negative 1 negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 times 2r minus 3 2r minus 3 plus 7 times 7 is 49 minus 14x okay so this becomes negative 0 is equal to negative 2r plus 3 plus 49 minus 14x okay so combining like times we have 52 negative 2r plus 52 minus 14x is equal to 0 and if you put this uh on the left hand side these negatives negative 2r so we have uh, 2r two r so two r plus fourteen x is equal to fifty two and we can actually uh divide all of the these numerical coefficients by two or multiply it by one half so one half Right, so one half so we have here r r plus 7x is equal to 26 okay so next is we write the third equation that we got in terms of uh, x so i mean x in terms of r so we have here uh so 26 
minus r. So, x is equal to 26 minus r over 7. Okay, so going back to the second equation that we got, we need to uh, plug in this x. My x is equal to 26 minus r over 7. So, so we have here r squared is equal to uh, r. We square this binomial, so we have r squared minus 2r plus 1 plus uh, this uh, 26 minus r over 7. Uh, but we need to square this. So we can cancel this r square. And we have here a negative 2r, 0, plus 1, plus this 26 is, uh, it is 26, 26 times 26 is uh, 676 minus uh, 52 r plus r square over 49 so we can actually multiply all by 49 so 49 so 0 is equal to 49 times 2 negative so negative 98 r plus 49 and we since for the second term, it will cut the 49, 49, 1 over 49 cancels out. So we have plus 676 minus 52 r plus r square. Okay, so next is we combine like terms and arrange the terms in descending order. So we have for the second order, second degree. 0 is equal to r square. Then for the r, we have negative 150 r. Then uh, 49 plus 676 is, uh, it is uh, 725. So we have plus 725 and we are to solve this resulting quadratic equation okay so uh, next is we uh, solve this resulting quadratic equation and i think it is um, better to solve this by completing the square so by completing the squares we have uh, r square minus 150 r so we need to add a number that is half of 150 and square it so this becomes 75 square is equal to we need to put this positive 725 to the right hand side it becomes negative 725 then we need to add the 75 uh, on the left to balance the equation and this 75 square becomes uh, 5625 so this becomes 5, 6, 25. So minus 7 to 5 is equal to, we can, since this is a perfect square already on the left hand side, we can write this as r minus, since the middle term is negative, minus 75 square. And if you simplify this, uh, on the right hand side we will we will have 4900 is equal to r minus 75 square okay so next is we get the square root of both sides so we have here this so square root of this and this so r minus 75 is equal to square root of 4900 is 70 but plus or minus so we have actually two solutions so we have r could be equal to uh, positive 75 plus 70 and the other is r is equal to 75 
minus 70. And for the first one, we have 145. And for the next one, it is 5. Okay, so if we try to check for the first uh, answer, so we can actually get, if we get try to get x, so x is equal to 26 minus 145 over 7. So this is actually 26 minus 145, this becomes actually a negative. So since there is no negative distance, so this 145 is invalid. And, okay, so... This is invalid. And if we uh, use it against, again, the this equation, x is equal to 26 minus 5 over 7. So, x results in a positive answer. So, 21 over 7 and that is 3. Okay, so we are only getting r is equal to 5. And now for the final step, since we already have the radius, uh, we, it is now easy to find the area. So, area is equal to pi r square for a circle. So, area is equal to pi times 5 square. So, we have area is equal to 25 pi square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.